Is underwear really good for your yoni health? Often in many cultures, when it comes to wearing dresses and skirts, women don't wear underwear. For your feminine health, how do you actually go without undies? We are talking about it in this month's Breath Body Beauty Community. The Breath Body Beauty Community is a place where we break down femininity, fertility, form, and function. I had a recent experience where I burned about 30% of my abdomen. Because this second degree burned covered the majority of my abdomen, I could not tolerate waistbands. This meant I only wore dresses and skirts while I was healing. One of my teachers actually at this very time had a femininity challenge of wearing dresses and skirts exclusively for 30 days. When it comes to wearing dresses and skirts in many cultures, they go without underwear. Is underwear really good for your yoni health? What can you do when you want to just let that space breathe? You may be concerned about rubbing of your thighs, rubbing of your bits, discharge, and what do you do when it's time to bleed? You may have heard of free bleeding. We are talking about it. I am sharing the things you can do to help minimize that inner thigh rub, different oils, butters, balms, and also all the things that you may not realize are better than the anti-chafing balms. I'm going to talk about compression for your inner thighs, everything, cantulus for your femininity and for your yoni health, allow your yoni to breathe, improve your femininity, improve your fertility, improve your health. Meet me in the Breath Body Beauty community Join at www.amandaramiresdpt.com to gain access to all this content and more. My name is Dr. Amanda Ramirez, doctor of physical therapy specializing in pelvic health, women's health, feminine wellness. I facilitate conversations around all things breath, body, and beauty, helping you expand into your femininity and optimize your fertility and embody your form and enjoy your function.